All right, everybody, it's Rolls the Gamer. Welcome to episode five of the Metal Gear Solid playthrough. And this is going to be a long one. But uh, as it happens, hearing Meryl taking care of a guard out there. See this mini scene here, and then a f the first proper boss fight in this, this game we're going to be coming out. No, he's not liquid. Again, they're supposed to be look-alikes, but uh, using a um, PlayStation One to show that it's you know difficult. Snake's fucking owning here. You fucking rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. <laughs> Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. And then this is pretty much uh teaching you how to do a gunfight, but in this game there isn't a ton of uh, mandatory shootouts like this. There's a tower section later on that I absolutely hate, but uh, we'll get to that when we get there. If this sounds different, I'm not using the snowball mic to record this. I'm using a, uh, a mic I ordered online um, just for cheap gaming stuff, but I'm going to work with it and see how it narrates too. I like it a headset a little bit more than uh, the way the mic feeds in a little bit more than the area mic but that snowball is a decent mic though too so in my opinion I, I know it's not a super uh, you know high-end model or whatever but anyway like I said just a shoot out here and be sure to keep your ration supplies high um, I don't know if there's really any way to avoid that damage. I never have, I'll say that much. But, uh, as you can see, um, life is definitely an issue in this one. But, um, this game, your, your life bar just grows after each victory. So, it's pretty cool. Nice focus on Meryl's butt there. Oh, spoiler. Yeah, that's Meryl. Uh, again, not a ton of people have the opportunity to play this game. Because it has a very limited run. Like, you know, HD re-releases or things like that. But, uh... Alright, so it's already showing us that there's something up with the mission that Snake's been given on. Been sent to go on, rather. Um, if you kind of follow along with the story of this, with this LP, as, you know, that's the plan anyway. Um, very little of what was planned in Shadow Moses goes according to plan. On the surface, anyway. Um, of Or Snake's objectives, you know what I mean? And here we get to see our first glimpse at Psycho Mantis. I honestly think this game has the best villains in the series. Just Foxhound in general is a crazy, crazy unit and uh, some really good fights. Also has a few that I really don't like though too. So it, it, it runs... Right, kind of right in the middle for me, and we'll get to those particular boss fights too when we get to them. So that was Mantis. I'm tired. I did my usual uh, Saturday and Sunday shifts, my 27 weekend hours, uh, my security job, and I then was planning to work tomorrow. 
I'm recording this on a Monday. Um, I was planning to work on Tuesday, but someone called off. So Sunday night, my boss texted me. He's like, hey, please come in Monday. And I decided I would. Now, the crazy thing with this is tomorrow is actually kind of an all-hands-on-deck day if you can do it. But I might not have the gas to get there. So I said I'd text him later and, you know, kind of let him know my situation. But because the way I plan things out, yeah, if you hit the elevator button twice, it comes right away. The way I plan things out is that I get everything down to the cent where, like, things that are invested in are invested in. Things that go to savings go to savings. Bills are paid right away and then subtracted from the balance right away. I uh, keep track of everything in my own little notepad, not a, not the bank's app, you know. But everything was planned out so that I had to drive back, to, you know, my half hour drive to and from work for one more day this week. And that was today. And I really don't have the money to replenish my gas, which is unfortunate. Now, again, on the other hand, what's crazy about that is I'm already well over my planned hours for the week, which are always, you know, 40. And if I work tomorrow, I'll actually, if I work the whole shift, the 12 hours that, you know, are the kind of the all hands on deck moment, I'll actually be uh, closer to 60 hours. So that's, you know, that's a possibility, but here, we're, uh, heading down to our, I'm sorry, I'm trailing off. We're uh, heading down to our first, you know, official boss fight here, and, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty good one, I think. It's kind of easy, all things considered, but um, it's a good kind of start-off fight. And we've already met up with our second hostage, so, like, this operation could go crazy short. Sorry, I actually was reading an email there. I shouldn't do this. Ocelot. Um, boy, we're going to see a lot of this guy throughout the Metal Gear series. Um, Anyway, what we have here is a, um, just a gunfight, and, um, you, you really, your issue is to just, like, get a hit or two off on him, kind of circle around, shoot again. I do the unequip, re-equip to, uh, reload my clip as quick as I can, 
and um, keep your rations on because Ocelot will get a few hits on you. But uh, your main thing is not to run in the center there because that will um, cause the explosion, you know? And that's, that's really your, um, your, your main issue in this fight is the, uh, that kind of, you know, can't walk too close to the center moment. Keeps you circling around, but, uh, I'm doing a pretty j good job, I think, with Ocelot here. And, uh, not the best boss fight in the series, but it's actually pretty bare bones, but I think it's still a good intro to the game, considering I have nothing else to live up to. Now, this is the hard part, it's picking up, like, that ammo box and not fucking up the situation. I don't know, why do people delete their Facebook profiles? There are two people that I looked up that I can't find, and I hope it's not because they unfriended me. No, if people do that, you still wouldn't have it deleted. It would just be... I mean, it is what it is. Either way, but... This is when you know the game is, like, taking off. There's a stealth ninja coming into the fold, and, you know, it's just... Like, it's crazy, and they act like it's crazy, but it's also well within the realm of acceptability for this thing to exist. Which is really, um... Kind of sets up the world of the series, even... This is was pretty much everyone's Metal Gear, first Metal Gear game at some point. Uh, and if not, then it was... You already knew about the Stealth Ninja, but... save this guy or so we think um, a little bit of an exposition dump here so that's a son of a bitch that uh these people might have un these two people might have unfriended me but if they did it's not the end of the world for me um I'll just be frank, there was a little bit of drama at work, and, uh, not involving me, but involving people and, uh, others not doing their job, and I'm very candid about speaking on that when needed to, so, uh, if it has anything to do with that, then, um, okay, if these profiles are just deleted, that's also a thing that people do now, apparently. Um, I know not everyone's on Facebook, but the thing that, like, People are like, oh, I'm just going to delete, delete this profile and move on. Like, okay, you're too you're too cool for school, buddy. Um, yeah, the info dump continues. This is actually really interesting. If you replay and see what he's talking about now, like, this is not what you promised Jim and everything. This guy has a very keen sense of what's going on. And uh, I don't want to really spoil it, but, you know, there's... He's talking to Jim of Jim Houseman, the the sen you know the uh, Secretary of Defense in this world. So um, Baker is speaking to the highest of the higher up as if it's a friend of his because he was a friend of his, and uh, he kind of knows more about this operation than even Snake does at this time. The woman. A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. That's crazy too. I had a decent day at work today, but if they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the 
these people are, you know, doing whatever, then I don't care. So we're gonna con Oh, I love this little this little fourth wall breaking moment that happens here. This game does this all the time and it was like the first game that really did it. So it should be on the back of the C D case. Like if you got this game without the C D case and this it was a two disc game, as we'll see later on, um it's kinda like you're fucked. Because in the early PlayStation days, the internet was just barely becoming a thing. You know? So. There is the old tried and true method of calling every single codec number until you get a hit, which is what you would have to do, I guess, in that situation. I'm sorry, I'm, tr I'm really into this game and we're talking about it, but I was distracted with the phone earlier and finding this out, and then this deleted friend profile thing or whatever this has really got me twisted up a little bit like I said it's not the end of the world but it's just annoying that if I fr when I friend request people or add them on Facebook it's for a reason but um whatever pretty sure both of these pe those people got in trouble today I wouldn't be surprised if they're not with the company to be honest with you um, it's what happens when you don't fucking show up to work and you call off and you're always under a certain number of hours and then when the regional supervisor comes in and he's pissed you don't understand why I'm sorry I'm getting way too personal into this but this is this is this is my my venting spot too sometimes so muff material unaccounted for and uh, we're coming to the end of this video because I just kind of cut it off because uh, 18 plus minutes and there's a good kind of dramatic tension moment coming up here that uh, we'll see. A weapon of overwhelming power, dot dot dot. 